Hello and hi, I'm Gakam Videos, and obviously, what are we doing today? I decided to show you guys one of the tactics I can use to make a thumbnail. Uh, so, you know, let's do that. So today's thumbnail, as you'll see on the screen, is a thumbnail I made for a gaming channel I have called Vrazy Gaming. It's a, there's a link to it in the description. I do gaming almost every Wednesday. I want to go in above and beyond with the thumbnail this time. So let me show you how I'm going to do it for this. I don't usually go this far for this, but I got a brilliant idea and I decided to go with it. So first, we start with Minimator. Now you may be thinking, wait, why are we starting with Minimator? What is the purpose of that? Well, I'll tell you, it's an easy to use 3D program. And that's all I want right now is a 3D program. All right, so we start a new project and we'll name it Thumbnail. Uh-huh, uh, nothing else is really important. So, like any 3D program, you have this and all that, but we don't care about all that. We don't really care about a background. We don't want, we don't want a sky. We want to show nothing in the background. We don't want a ground either. We don't want clouds. We don't want anything except for this. A single color. We don't care about anything else at the moment. So I am gonna put the ground I am gonna put the ground back on back on. There's people in the house though, just so you know, so you might hear some voices and some sounds in the background. But anyway, um, I'm putting this ground here so I have a reference. I don't really care what it is, honestly. We'll go with that just because it's simple. So what we're gonna do is we're not gonna take a shape. We're gonna, we are gonna take a shape. We're gonna take this here cube. And we are gonna take this cube and create something. Now, I'm showing on the screen real quick some of the Carlson gameplay. You'll notice there is the grappling gun. So that's what we're doing today. We are gonna design our own grappling gun so that we can, you know, do that. So, and there we go. We've created a simple looking grappling hook. Now, what was the point of this? Well, first, let me get rid of some of these objects. Next thing to do is create our camera. We've got the camera, got a basic position I think I like, right about there. We need to edit this camera now. We need to work on a couple of things. I'm gonna change a few settings. Field of view, right about there. All right, now that looks good. So what we'll do now is get rid of the ground and save this as an image. So now, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this thumbnail piece that I've created. Now we go to Krita, and we're going to filter out um, color to alpha. I'm going to filter out the green, just like that. I'm going to save it like that, save its transparency. Let me check something. Okay. And we can always go back and take a different photo if we need to. Especially since I think we might have to do that a little. There. Okay. Now, the next part is I'm going to use Flash real quick to create another part of this. Flash is a vector program, which is why I'm using it for this. Okay. So what we need to do is we're going to use lines for this. Almost done. All right, so next, we finish off making the actual artwork. Finally. 
now that we've done all that, we come to the most important part. We take the background of the game. Now this part is the very simple part. This is what I usually do for almost every thumbnail. After everything's been drawn, you put this in the background, bring the opacity down, give it a slight blur. And now we just add a few little things. Maybe we put the layers together. Filter, adjust, there we go, filter again, blur, maybe blur it just even a bit more, there we go, there's a slight glow to it now, and now we add the text, something like, uh, uh, we have to choose a very good font. This is a very good tip. Always choose, try and choose a really good font. One of my favorite fonts to use is Berlin Sans FB and Berlin Sans FB Demi. These two are very good for making things pop, as well as giving it a border. I always choose white with a black border. It's just how I roll. Sometimes you may even have to do something like this, copy, paste. Depends on how you want to make, you got to try and make it stick out best it can. There we go. Now we save it as a PNG. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We just made a thumbnail for my Carlson for my Carlson gameplay as I've thrown it up on here on the screen um, I hope you liked this I don't usually do videos like this where I just talk and you know give you guys my where I work in front of you guys uh, main reason cuz either I stop talking or I don't get any work done but I gotta say I'm really happy with how this turned out so if you guys want any more videos like this where I just like design a thumbnail or maybe do edit a video and show you my process for that, then just let me know. Comment down below. Let me know if you want me to do a video where I show you how I edit. I may end up doing one anyways, but let me know how much you liked this video. Um, but anyway, with that being said, I had a good time making this. It was a bit of work, but uh, yeah, worked out very well, I think. All right.